All right, so if you've watched my last video, which I highly recommend you go checking out, I talked about stacking Rubik's Cubes, but if you wanna stack them, they should look nice. So on today's video, I'm gonna show you the top 10 patterns for your Rubik's Cubes to stack. So let's get into the video. All right, so for our first pattern, it's normal. It's, it's, it's a pretty basic pattern. It's a checkerboard pattern. Most people know it. It's, it's a very famous pattern, very easy to do. So let's get into that. All right, so how you're gonna do this is, it's pretty simple. Um, you're just gonna do two moves in the center. You're gonna flip it one more time, two moves. Then you're gonna flip it that way, and two moves like that. And just like that, you've got the checker pattern. And it's called that because it looks like a checkerboard. All right, so for this one, it's swapped centers. So you're swapping the centers of your cube. And it actually looks pretty nice. And you can control which three spiners you swap depending on what three faces you're viewing. So let's get into that. All right, so this one's pretty easy too. It's it's nothing fancy. Um, you're just swapping those three centers in the middle. So I'm just gonna start right there and I'm gonna do one move like that. Just um, one move up the center and then one move um, through the middle. And then you're just gonna repeat that if you wanna undo it. So one move up, one move through the center, one move up, one move through the center, just like that. So let's get on to the next. All right, so for this one, it's crosses on each side. Instead of a checkerboard pattern, there's one cross on each side. And every corner, if you flip every corner in some way, you'll eventually solve it. So you could try solving it just by flipping corners. So let's get into making this pattern. All right, so this one too is pretty simple, but it's a bit harder than the rest of them. You have to pay attention a little. So first you're gonna move the two, those see it again like that and then you're just gonna it's kind of hard to explain but you're just gonna want to move the, the front layer and the back layer at the same time then you're gonna go again move the top layer and the bottom layer at the same time in the same way and do that until it gets like that so let's get into the next pattern all right so for this one it's continuing our theme of crosses on each side instead of um, opposite or just like random colors the opposite colors so it's kind of like a checker pattern, but the centers are the same as the, um, the outer pieces or the edge pieces. So let's get into this. All right, so for this one, it's, it's a bit harder, but remember, it's just gonna get harder as you go. So um, let's get into that. So you're gonna do two moves to the center, two moves on the top, two moves in the center again, and then you're gonna move the bottom layer two times. And that looks, that looks pretty nice. It's just a checker pattern with um, the same centers as the edge pieces and you should just be able to do the same thing to get it back to your normal thing but i had a little trouble it's the same thing for everything just do the same thing to get it back see i don't know what happened to mine there okay and then now i just have a pll algorithm or when you're finishing the cube same algorithm and that looks pretty nice um let's get on to the next pattern all right so for this one it's um kind of similar there's two checkers on each side and nothing in the in the middle and that's that's pretty interesting if you just want two checkers so let's get into this awesome pattern all right so for these this one it's pretty simple compared to the last two um you're just going to do the right side two times the upside two times and then the right side two times again upside two times again just like that flip it over right side two times upside two times right side two times and then the upside and now you have one cross on each side and that's pretty cool and it just depends on what side so i have um the blue and green cross on both sides you can have the red and yellow or the white and um red i mean i'm sorry yellow so let's get into the next awesome color i mean pattern all right, so this one is pretty interesting. It's the checker pattern mixed with the swap centers pattern. So it gives you a checker pattern with swapped centers. And that's pretty cool. So let's get into this awesome pattern. All right, so for this one, um, it's pretty simple. It's just the checker pattern, like I said, mixed with the swap centers pattern. So first, do the checker pattern, how I showed you, remember, two moves um, through right there and then two moves on the other side. And then you're gonna do the same thing. One move th up, one move through the middle. Just like that, again, remember? Just combine those two patterns. So let's get on to the next awesome um, pattern. All right, so um, this one is really cool. This is the last one and it's the best, I think. It's a cube in a cube in a cube and there's no corner twisting to this. It's just one algorithm, but it's pretty hard. So if you're up to the challenge, let's get into this cool pattern. So as I said, this one's pretty difficult. So you're gonna have to follow along and pay close attention. So I just did the top up the left side up and then the um 
the top side counterclockwise, the front side counterclockwise, watch the video, the right side up two times, the right side two times, clockwise two times, the right side clockwise. And then you're gonna do the back side counterclockwise. And just remember, watch this, watch it and just copy what I'm doing with my hands. Um, just like that. And after you do these patterns, it'll come out really nice. So just just um, remember, just have patience and it'll eventually come out. I was pretty scared when I was first doing this because it doesn't look like it's gonna come out, but then at the last minute, it comes out looking a really nice cube in a cube. So just keep going. So, okay, it looks pretty scrambled, but um, after a couple moves, you have a cube in a cube. And last move, and that looks really nice. So, um, yeah, this is pretty nice. Let's get on to the next one. All right, so there's two by twos in my stacks, right? So you need a two by two pattern. So here's a bonus two by two pattern. And that's, it's pretty interesting. You can't do checkerboard patterns on two by twos, but you can do checkerboard patterns on each side. All right, so um, this, if you do the two by two Ortega method, just solving the two by two, then this should be pretty familiar to you, the algorithm. So F2, R2, F2, one of the easiest algorithms in Ortega. Um, and then F, the top side two. All right, so for this pattern, it's really more of a um, corner twisting. So you see, just twist that corner right there and it kind of looks like the cube in the cube pattern. Um, but it's for a two by two, you twist that corner and there you go you've got your two by two pattern your 10th pattern this is the last one um remember to like subscribe follow me on instagram at the ruby cube official everything is linked in the description and until next time catch you later all right so there's the link to my video right there click that button and you'll be able to watch my video on the stacks and if you wouldn't mind clicking that um subscribe button right there and um until next time catch you later